So now, in this video, we're going to do a quick demonstration of why it's important that you don't mix up the collector and emitter when you're using a transistor. So sometimes the schematic symbol will have a circle. I always put a circle there. I think it makes it easier to keep track of the components, but it may not be circled. So in any case, the collector emitter, the collector, in if you're using an NPN transistor, this is the 2N3904. The chemical makeup is NPN. So, unfortunately, if you're building a circuit by a schematic and you put the collector where the emitter should be and the emitter where the collector should be, the circuit may still work and uh, it likely will work. But you still want to avoid that because the properties of the base 2 emitter differ from the collector to emitter. So to begin with, this top circuit here is wired like this. I'm using high value resistors because we're going to put current through this transistor backwards from how it is intended to be. And uh, so the top one up there is wired like this. And you can see this one's facing the other way because they're both 2N3904s because I have it wired backwards. So here we have the emitter towards the positive side of the power supply collector towards the negative. That's what you don't want. This is backwards. So now we turn the lights down low. We have the meter set to measure voltage because that is what we are concerned with in this video. So the power supply is providing a little more than five volts. So I normally use a breadboard power supply that provides five volts and both of these are wired to keep the LED off other than one transistor is inserted backwards and so they're both doing their job right now at uh, lower voltages it's really easy to miss that you put a transistor in backwards so now I'm going to raise the voltage as you can see there of uh, my bench power supply it's powering both rails I have those jumpers going across and uh, at about 12 volts the LED starts glowing probably can't see it on camera until you get to about 13 right there and uh, so it's really glowing quite a bit so it's passing current the main thing is it should be passing virtually no current just like this one they're wired the same other than the transistor being backwards on the lower one so there we already have a failure so the uh, 2N3904 is rated to block or to have about 40 volts across it and work properly from collector to emitter. Here you can see at 13 we are already definitely passing current in that one whereas we are not on that one. So that's one failure and that one actually affected me recently when I did my video where I took an inductor and using a transistor I got current to flow through the inductor I shut off the transistor and the inductor wants to keep current going so it raises the voltage to keep current going and I diverted that into a capacitor which kept getting charged to a higher and higher voltage and the uh, circuit was not working I think I spent like an hour or two all it was was a backwards NPN bipolar junction transistor so that was one of the things to motivate me to make this video make sure you got the pin layout and that's why I commonly there's the backwards one add this here so when you're looking at the flat side emitters to the left bases to the middle and collector is to the right that time I just got comfortable with the uh, pin layout and was thinking the emitter was there collector was there and I was wrong so I should have took more time and made sure I wired it properly and uh, double checked uh, pin layouts if I hadn't used them in a while but uh, in any case Hopefully this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.